Now, most of those supplies will be transported to the Ukrainian Orthodox Church in Troy, where they will be organized and sent out to those in need on the ground in Ukraine. Both that church, as well as the Trinity Church in Lansingburg, tonight also holding a candlelight vigil for those suffering across Eastern Europe. News 10's Connell Smith now shares their sights and sounds. As the sign says, to pray for peace in Ukraine. Saturday night, dozens gathered inside Trinity Church in Lansingburg to do just that, by offering what they believe is the best weapon against aggression, prayer. And I do, do believe that the prayers is the best weapon, the best uh, support, the best uh, uh, um, mental also guidance. And uh, a lot of people are praying for peace, and that's what we want. As the services went on, candles were lit and lifted up high to remember those who have perished in the war. Well, this is our church, and so it was something that, that we all felt very much was something we wanted to do, and Father Desmond did, got things organized with the rest of the community, so prayers help, definitely. Um, you have to do a lot of different things in a situation like this. David Jones is a parishioner at Trinity Episcopal. He's also a ham radio operator. Prior to the outbreak of war, he says he would communicate often with people in Ukraine. Since hostilities began, he's heard nothing but radio silence. Basically, all of those communications have pretty much stopped and uh, actually ham radio operators here in the United States aren't even speaking with a lot of the ham radio operators in Russia and they're pretty much off the air also. Jones says before the war began, some people in Ukraine he communicated with said they felt like something was going to happen. You could hear it, you know, through different channels or whatever and then, you know, again, you know, and then it came to pass and it's a lockdown, you know. In Troy, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.